What's up people? Today we're gonna do a little bit of Google Maps, random creek fishing, going to spots that I've never been to. This is generally how I find a lot of my fishing spots, and I'm sure if you fish, this is probably how you find a lot of your spots too. Hop on Google Maps, it's so easy, on your phone, just kind of scour the map, mark places as you look, and yeah, eventually just drive there. It's that simple. So today I've got a spot that I picked out and we're gonna start there. It's about um, it's about 47 minutes away. So it's a little bit of a drive, but we're gonna make the drive and see if we can catch a fish. And if not, we'll just pick another spot. So yeah, stay tuned. Let's go get them. Oh yeah, and before we even do that, we need to stop by Walmart, good old Walmart, because it's the only place that I can go in my area to get anything fishing related. We're gonna stop at Walmart, get some baits, get some stuff I need to get, and probably pick up some worms. Uh, it's been tough fishing, people. So, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do whatever we gotta do today to catch something. So, yeah, we'll do that. We just got out of the worst place on earth. Actually, not that bad this morning. Uh, definitely not as bad as it usually is. Quite surprised, but uh, yeah, we're ready to go, and uh, we got a little bit of a drive ahead of us. So, let's do it. All right, people. Well, we made it. We're in Creston, North Carolina. Um, look that one up on the map. We're out here. This place is sweet, man. There's no one here. Super low key. I don't have any cell phone service, so that's kind of cool. Really sweet spot. The water's right in front of me down a hill. So on the map, it looks like this is like where two creeks meet together and kind of form the beginning of a river. So I'm anticipating smaller fish, but who knows, man. You never know what you're gonna get this time of year in the mountains, trout fishing. Could be a giant, could be nothing. Enough talking. We're gonna throw the waders back on and see what I found on the map. I think this right here is a little path to get down there. You guys can sort of see the creek. It's pretty cool, man. This is a small spot. Um, yeah, we're definitely not getting down right there. Maybe this way? There's a paddle right here too. Just realized that. Uh, yeah, I think we can kind of manage our way down this way and uh, start fishing. Really small area, man. It'd be cool if we catch something here. Yep, so right there. There's a creek that comes in on that side. Creek right here. I think we're just going to walk downstream. And I do have a spinner tied on still. So this guy is really small. Might as well stick with that for now and see what happens. You guys, I caught something. Oh, and it's the most smallest trout you've ever seen, but that makes sense. It's a beautiful little guy, and we'll take him. Just making a few casts before I headed out. We got our first fish of the day. That's definitely a little wild brown. We just barely got him. I'll get him undone, and yeah, we'll let him go, but dude, we got something. There he is, man. I barely felt that guy on there. There he goes. Nice little fish. That's about what I expected. It was just little tiny little fish out of this area, but dude, we got him. We got him. That's not like a record or anything for this channel, but hey man, the point of today is to go to a new spot, catch some fish. And we caught one. Nice little native brown, little wild brown. All right, people. Well. We did get one fish out of this spot. We're gonna jump back in the car, go somewhere else where we can hopefully catch more fish. But yeah, that was cool. I'll take it. Let's go. All right, well, I was driving and I came across something really cool. We're gonna go down here and check it out first before I like pile on my gear. And I saw some people here earlier, so I thought, hey, whenever they leave, we'll try to get in there. I mean, they got in here somehow. So I think we should be able to just walk right here and walk right down to the bottom of this spillway. And yeah, man, look at this. Wouldn't you guys fish this? I'm about to. I don't see any signs or anything telling me I can't, so. 
Oh yeah. Y'all think there's anything back in there? We might try it, dude. I think we should try it. This place looks kind of crazy. Definitely never fished this. We'll walk down a little bit further, see what we're see what we're looking at. Yeah, man, I think I'm gonna go get my stuff. And we're gonna make a few casts right here. Really cool spot, man. All right, guys, I think it's time to try to take a trip up to the spillway. Um, it looks entirely doable. Honestly, from the road, I wasn't sure. I think that um, before I swap to live bait, I'm gonna walk downstream and just see what I can do with this Panther Martin. Yep, okay, this looks good, dude. Glad I walked down here. This looks like a really good spot to fish a night crawler, so we're gonna throw this spinner a few times right here. Put on fall. And then, uh, yeah, we're gonna sink a night crawler right here, because especially underneath that rock bluff right there, oh man. This is it. Let's start with this uh, the spinner though. See if anything wants it. There's one y'all. Oh, that's not a bad one. Oh man, stay on. Yeah, that's a good one you guys. He's the best we've had all day. Where's my net? Nice, dude. Now I just need to find my net, which I'm pretty sure I just sat it over here. Yeah, dude. Nice brown trout, man. That is awesome. There we go. There we go. I knew we'd catch something right here. That's so sweet. Nice, man. That is a good looking fish. Awesome, man. This is what I was looking for, you guys. Just a nice little brown trout. I mean, he ain't huge, but he ain't small neither. Nice fish, man. Wow. All right, we'll take that. Always take that. Kind of muddied up the water, so you can't see him swim off, but there he goes. Let's go, man. I'm so glad I didn't switch to the night crawlers yet because I just feel better about that. I just feel a lot better about that. All right, people, well, I broke. We're gonna do something I haven't done in a long time in a creek, and that's fish with night crawlers. This spot just looks way too good to not try it, and I got them on me, so I'm way too curious to know what's in here. And this is a pretty darn good way to find out. In my neck of the woods, that is. Hard to beat the night crawler. Extremely hard to beat the night crawler. Most fish simply can't resist it. Just like that. First cast. First freaking cast, you guys. Well, okay. Still, we caught something on the first cast. <laughs> Definitely not what we're going for, but uh, I guess a few of these along the way is just expected. Oh, we got a fish. Look at that. What is this? A trouty boy. A brown trout. There we go. Wash him off, he's a little dirty. Another nice little brown, man. We'll let him go. I was sitting there trying to, uh, my line tangled up around my rod, and whenever I picked back up on it, he was there, so. There's something. What is that? Oh, rock bass. Nice, dude. Yeah, that's a nice one. All right, well, I mean, it's not just the trout and the suckers anymore. We're definitely multi-species fishing right now. That is a really nice, really nice rock bass. Let him go. We'll keep going. There we go. I mean, what do we got? Panfish of some kind. Noise. Dude, I'll take it, man. Honestly... I've been um, I've been on a dry streak. 
even though these are small little fish and I'm catching them on night crawlers, dude, this is fun. This is fun. Anyone and everyone should go out and do this. I mean, it is super low effort fishing. You're gonna catch stuff. It's so easy. There's something, y'all. A little trout. A little trout. I mean, dude, I'll take this over a sucker any day, dude. I will take the smallest of small little brown trout. Check him out, man. Very nice. Very nice. I'll take that all day over these stupid little suckers that we've been catching. I'm glad we're catching just anything, but really want them trout, so I'll take that. All right, people, so last thing we're gonna try today, we're gonna try to walk up here again. And last time we were up here, we were fishing with the spinner and I had like a follow, but I mean, I've got a night crawler on now, so as long as we don't get snagged 10,000 times, maybe we'll catch a fish. I did just catch a trout right here, so, you know, there is hope. I don't know if you guys can see that bird out there. That's a bald eagle, man. That is a huge bird. We don't get that a lot around here. That's really cool. Even though I barely got them on film, we got them on film. Super sick. All right, so we're just gonna kind of pitch this crawler. Just see if anything picks it up. Hopefully I don't get snagged. That's the real thing. Try not to get snagged here. There we go. That seems a little better. Keep that pressure on him, whatever he is. I think it's a trout. What we got? Yo, let's go, you guys. All right, man. All right. If I can get my freaking net undone. There we go. I want you guys to look at this. Beautiful spillway. Really nice brown trout. Honestly, that's a wild brown, man. You can just tell, he is beautiful. Not huge, but that is a nice fish, man. That's why we came out here. There he goes. It'd be sweet to catch a fish out of here. Oh, oh, biggest fish of the day, dude. Holy cow, you guys. There's really no good way for me to get this thing. Is he still on? Yeah, he's still on. He's not that big though. He's a good size, rainbow too. Rainbow trout and he's flopping all over the place. I don't know what else to do. We gotta try to flip him. There we go. Nice, man. That is a beautiful rainbow. And we'll just let him go real quick. Barely got him. Barely got him. That's a nice fish, man. Right in the snout. Cool, man. I really didn't expect that. Yeah, that's the best fish of the day right there. <laughs> nice, man. Google Maps fishing, you guys. Just pulling over. Catching trout. We're just going to have to dump him. He'll be all right. There he goes. Whoo, man. What a day. I am so whooped after all that. That was, uh, that was a full day of fishing for sure. First spot we went to that I initially had marked on the map. I mean, it was really cool and I'm glad I went there. And uh, I'll definitely go back at some point, but um, in a roundabout way, it helped us find this place, this spillway. So um, yeah, we caught a bunch of fish today, saw a lot of fish, missed some too, but man, that was a good time. Anyways, um, if you guys ever have uh, issues finding fishing spots or you think that your spots are stale, jump on Google Maps, just start surfing the map and uh, you'll find new spots. Drive to them, check them out, see if you can access, see if you can't and just work with what you got, you know? Like like I said, plan A didn't exactly pan out today, but we found this place and uh, yeah, it worked out. So I'm really looking forward to more fishing and I uh, hope you guys are too. Y'all take care and I'll see you in the next one.